Hello there guys and welcome to Student Meals. In this episode I will show you how to make a super delicious bacon and mushroom pasta. I hope that you enjoy this episode. So what you'll need is pasta. I'm going to use some tortelloni, some mushrooms. I have 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms. Bacon. I have 250 grams of blocked bacon. One onion. I'm going for a red onion, finely chopped. Some pine nuts. If you feel like it, you can leave this out, but I think it adds to the whole dish. A small handful of parsley chopped. One garlic pressed. Some pepper and salt for seasoning. And of course, some olive oil. First cook your pasta in boiling salted water. Then roast the pine nuts on a hot pan. You can also add them without the roasting, but I like the flavor. Remove them from the heat, put them in a bowl and set them aside. As you can see, nice and roasted. Put the pan back on the fire and add the bacon and let it fry for a bit. As you can see, the bacon has released some fat. Now we're going to drain that in a separate bowl. Put the pan back on the fire and add in the drained bacon. And now fry it until it's crispy. There we go, bacon looks about done. Turn off the fire and transfer it to a plate covered with kitchen paper. So it can become nice and crispy. Clean the pan with some kitchen paper of all the bits. And now we'll be frying the mushrooms. But instead of butter, we will be using that nice bacon fat we got earlier. Put it on the fire, put in your bacon fat. Put in your mushrooms, give it a good stir and just fry your mushrooms until they are nice and golden brown. Make sure not to get it too hot because the bacon fat will start fighting back. In the meanwhile you can season it with some pepper. I wouldn't season it with salt because the bacon fat is pretty salty on its own. You can always add salt at the end if you really want to. So the mushrooms look about done, now it's time to add the garlic. Give it a good stir and let it fry for roughly 30 seconds. Make sure not to over fry the garlic because it will become bitter. Turn off the fire, add the parsley, give it a good stir, there you go. Take a plate and put it on there. Set the mushrooms aside and now we'll start on the assembly. So I've cleared the pan of some remaining parsley bits. Now I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, put it back on the fire and let it get hot. And then fry your onion. Fry it until it starts looking glazy. So once the onion is glazy, add in your pasta and give it a good stir. So because my pan is a bit too small, I'm going to transfer it to a bigger one. So I'm going to put the pasta in there. Normally if you use just regular pasta, you won't have this problem. To that, I'm going to add our mushrooms, our pine nuts, and give it a good stir so that all of the flavors are nice and incorporated. If you want, you can add bacon at this point, but I just like to sprinkle it on top when the dish is finished. It's more of a personal preference. And there you go, it's ready to be served. Just serve it in a bowl, sprinkle with some bacon and some parsley to finish it off. You can also add some rocket salad or cheese or any other topping you like. Maybe sprinkle a little bit more of the pine nuts it's all up to you. Time for a test test. Let's take a bit of everything. <laughs> it's so good. No, it's really good. I am a huge fan of mushrooms and pasta. So this is like a very good combination for me. Also, I think all of the flavors are so nicely combined and it's just, it's a really, really nice dish and I can't wait to finish this entire bowl right now. So thank you guys for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And as always, see you in the next one. Goodbye.